Right, today's video is simple. Competition, back tees, I'm at Chorn Cromardy, par 70, 6,000 yards, Stableford competition. I'm not playing great, but I'm gonna try and try and grind. 36 points will be my handicap, that's what I'm going for. See what happens. Ah, right, let's play to our handicaps there, Darren. That's all we can do, innit? Right, so here we go, par four, 430 yards, stroke nine, pulled it a bit left. Long all this, a five will do me all day long. Not happy. Right, so I've got 270, I've got four and I'm just trying to chase it up front right. Just, as usual, just come out a bit a bit. But it's alright, it's good shape there, I'll take that, chip and put. Go for a par. Right, I'm weighing it up here now. For me, I've just got a little pitching wedge, straightforward shot. Chip it halfway and let it run on. Perfect. Or was it? As you can see course is dry it's not raining in Manchester for two weeks now that is born hard isn't it that and as you heard it's born hard that is absolutely caught me off by surprise really happy with the chip shot putting for a par and look at the speed of the greens now at Chalk come out of this first hole and the green it definitely goes faster as you can see pulled it and I've started off because it's stable for with a blob so that's a six for no points so I've got a free wood here. It's all right, it's in position here to be fair. I've got a lucky bounce. And it's actually, it's in A1 that. Little gap wedge, 75 yards. Pin eye bounce, just didn't check up. The greens are fiery, they are getting watered. The birdie put here. I thought I had it, didn't come in. Cheers mate. But it's an easy par for two points. And I'll take this all day, it's a good start. Chalk Kamadi is such a hard, start the first four holes so we're on the third here 435 yards a bit of great drive probably could have gone in the bunker i've had a great bounce I mean, it's getting interesting here i've actually gone over the top pulled it left and it's gone oh, left fade. to right got a fade. great bounce fade. Oh. it's on the green so if Six. i can get a par here yeah, i will okay. take one over for the first three holes all day Oof. long so i've hit a little pitch and wedge didn't want to check it up all day I knew, didn't want to try and check anything, just want to run them in. And a good par, a very good par, a little bit of luck, but a good par. Hi golf mates, if you want more videos like this, head over to our Facebook page, we post every lunchtime and every evening. Make sure you click that follow button. Right, here we go, par three. 188, stroke seven, got a shot. Now I'll be honest, this, this tee shot here is probably the hardest on the golf course. It's out of bounds left, bunkers front, back. As you can see there, I've just flopped it over. Another six inches, that would have been dead. But I've caught back of the bunker. Put for par. That should have come down. That should have come down. Anyway, bogey, don't mind that. Two points. Everything's okey dokey. Here it goes a bit wrong. Just pulled it straight left out of bounds. Couldn't believe it. What I did do today, because I were hitting left to right, I said to myself, right, I'm going to aim left and let it float back in. So, three off the tee, straight down the middle. So that's caught me out that today, because I've been going left to right on the previous hole. That's why I aimed left and it stayed left. Right middle of the fairway, I've got a pitching wedge, chipped on, pin eye, put in for a five, missed that, so I've got a six. No points. So we're on the six hole now, stroke 17, 264 yards. All I'm thinking of here now, I'll be honest, is get a birdie. Try and get something going again in the round. So I've hit the drive like I've been saying, this one's gone left to right, like I played from the previous hole, this time it worked, because obviously I'm not hitting it great at the moment. Little gap wedge in, and I've got the right side where I wanted really, just, it should be a straightforward left to right putt. And there you go, birdie, three points. Right, so we're on to the hardest hole of the course, this is stroke one, playing 470 yards today, and uh, yeah, you're going to see something nice. In my head, I'm setting up for a draw. Even though I'm struggling and getting myself stuck because I'm not swinging great, I'm still visually seeing this. And this is what happens. Oh, chicken and rice. Good job there's another fairway over there. That's all I'm saying. This is going to be a long goal now. It's a bit of a forward. I'm happy with that. It's got it right back in play. Still probably going to left with about 80 yards in, which I have. I've got 90 yards in. I've got a gap wedge here. Now, 
I really need to be honest here, I didn't hit this well, and you'll see with a bounce, this was a little bit left to right, and you'll see yourself the way it landed <sighs> on the green, a proper come across it, but it worked out a treat, so I've had a bit of luck, but I should have made this, I thought I had this, I've had this putt all the time, and the, the putts weren't breaking, the, the oh. greens are such in lovely condition, but they're just a bit long, so they're not taking the breaks as much, and it's my fault, not for, well, not for feeling that. So par 5, 5.30, stroke 11, no shots, I'm just thinking, get a par. I have it an alright drive, it's not gone miles, but it's gone straight, you know, the way I hit it, I felt like it was spinny, but it's in the middle of the fairway, I'm not mourning. Now before I take this shot, just before it ends up, it's weird on golf, you have memories, so before I've took my lay up here, well I've got a 7 iron, this ball ends up where I've been for the last three weeks, and even in my head I visualise, right, put it down the middle, don't go there, and watch this, this is, if you've watched the channel recently, you've seen me in the past. Go. Just lazy shot. Look at this. And in the corner where I've been for a few weeks. So I've got a little six sign here. I've only got 150, I'm just trying to keep it low under the branch. And just, just pop it up there really, an easy swing. And it's probably the first shot today where it's gone where I wanted. It's just trickled over the bunker, so I'm really happy with that. Little putt right to left. I needed it to take it another two foot right of the break, really, but I've got an uphill putt. Good stroke, solid par, two points. So I'm getting it back together here, and I'm not playing great. I'm going to call it, I'm grinding. I know I'm not swinging great, but I'm not, not getting angry, I'm not getting flustered. But I'm holding it together right. Nightfall. Actually, on a little forward tee here, so it's only playing about 365. I've got my forward. Stroke five, so I've got a shot for the Stableford. And uh, it's a bloody horrible swing, but because I've come over top and got stuck and trapped, it's done the left to right. What I said I was going to play for all day, it's turned up all right. Position here, really. Right, I've got 145. I've got a 9-iron here. Now, only back, this is a decent shot this, because if you watch, it's virtually gone where I'm aiming, so I'm happy with this, by the finish. So I've got the right Left club, pin eye, yeah. Joe's doing a, his usual Sky Sports, doing something special here. Now I've just got my gap wedge again, oh, again I'm going for a chip and run here, and uh, played that really nice. In fact, there were one point I thought I'd hold that, so hopefully it should be a tapping par for three points. So I'm happy here, I'm happy. Right, that's nine holes in, 17 points, which is only one behind the target. Pfft. Listen, I think you can tell yourself, it's not my greatest game. I'm holding it together, and it's one of these, you've just got to keep battling. So my up and downs have got me a few pars. I've been caught out with my left to right, which, that's what I said I was going to play with, because I feel like, obviously, I'm coming over the top. Caught out once on the fifth hole, you know, three off the tee. But, but, see if we can get 19 points on the back nine. Somehow, just scrape and fight, because trust me, I am fighting. Come on, back me, wish me, good luck. So we're on the 10th hole, stroke 16 this, I don't know how. 165 yards, go left, you're out of bounds, simple as that. So it's a par three, I've got eight iron, it's downwind a tad. And I'm going to be honest, I've not hit a great connection, but it's gone straight, and it's probably bounced 10 yards short and bounced on the green. And a nice kick, as you can see, middle at green. Stop right there, golf mates. YouTube has been unsubscribing people from our channel. Make sure you press that button and press all the notifications bell. So, put for birdie. I'm going to try and go for this one again. And I had it coming in all day long. They're, they're just greens. Because they're so lost, they're, like I said previously, they're just not breaking as much, so it's my fault. So what we've got here, the back nine, it's like an amen corner. You've got three really hard holes. The par three there are very hard holes. And the 11th and the 12th are really hard holes. If you can come out of them with some pars, you're laughing. So 11th fall here, 421. Again, you can see uh, the struggle's kicking in now. You're going to see with the drive. And actually, the swing is, uh, it's knocking me sick, but I've still got, I'm going to show it. Outside and then in. It's gone about 185 yards, and that bunker there, I've been playing here for 10 years, I don't think you've ever seen me in it. So, pitching wedge out, not a bad shot actually, I've got it got it down there to about 145. I've been playing here 16 years, never been in that bunker until today, but that drive deserved it. So I've got a 9-9 here. It's actually a good punchy shot, I actually got a little feeling for a second then of a good shot. 
So I've still got a chance of a par with a shot hole, I'll take that. So I'll put for par, just to hit it. Might have had the line, just didn't hit it. But a, a bogey, I'll take that with that drive all day long. So here we go, to a hard hole in it. Again, it's playing 392, forward pin. I've got my left to right shot, I've played with it, and it I've kept it in the fairway. It's the first time I've hit this fairway in a few weeks, but I've got a long way in. So I've actually got 155 in here, pins at front, I've hit a little eight. And I just dragged it, just pure drag, but it's gone left to right into the bunker. Not a great shot. It's starting to down on me now that I'm struggling with my game. So I've got 50 80. I'm just trying to bop it out left and let it trickle in. Happy with the shot. Again, didn't break as much as I thought, but I thought, okay, power put here, get this in, and it's great. And as you can see, the, it's moved at the last foot. It must have been a foot mark. That was in all the way. That was a great putt. And it's unlucky to come off of a bogey in only one point. Right, so we're on the 13th hole, par three. This stroke index has changed. It's stroke 13 now, but it used to be stroke eight. So the pin's right back, and it's like surrounded by bunkers, this green. It's a proper, proper hard hole. Anyway, so I've got a six iron. I'm just trying to get it back there. But I've got away with it, that left to left to right came in. Yeah. Got the greed and I've had a little dodgy kick. I thought I was in the bunker here, but I've just skipped over. Now here's one. Got my gap wedge again, playing the same shot all day, chip and run. And this one, just got a bit of juice on it, just yeah. grabbed. And I've just leapt out. So I could have had three pars in the last three holes. Not through good golf, but a bit of a decent short game. But one point, bogey. So we're on to our 14th. 387 yards. He's playing 400 yards today. Stroke six. It's them drives here. I've just got it away. It's not great, but it's down there. Do you know what I mean? If I can do that more often, a fair way find, I think it'll come in great. But it's left me with 196 to the pin. Now I've got four iron. I'm just again thinking of chasing it down there. And again, I've got this little left to right one. I think I just scrabbled it. It would have been pin high actually, it would have stayed straight. It was a, it was an yeah, all right shot, but there weren't many, much conviction sure. in it. Now here we go, this is, I don't know if you can tell on the angle here, this is McKenzie. So I've got to go up the tier, what's kicking it, left to right. I've got a, I've gone to a 9-9 now, so it doesn't check up like the last one. And I thought a bit of belter, right. it's just gone straight through, just gone straight through. And a bit annoyed with myself though, because I did everything I wanted, I just hit it too much. But again, putting for a par with a shot. And you can see the last minute try and turn there, but again, I've not read the conditions of the greens. The greens are not faster, they're healthy, they're full of length, and they're just not taking the break. So we're on to our 15th now, it's not a long goal, 334 yards, and I thought, I've got my free wood and I'll play with the left to right shot so I have to start it out just over some trees near some new houses and in my head I thought I'll just let it not fade back in slice back in and same as the fifth Lord OB left now if there's someone on the balcony outside I do apologize if you're having a latte and a Mizuno come flattening around your place but that would be mine so it's free off the tee so I've gone back to the tee I've hit the same again this time Got it in the air, it's done the left to right, and it's uh, it's finished a long way down there, so it was the right club. I'm just playing with a fault, and sometimes when you play with a fault, you even make it worse, which is exactly what I did. So I've got about 80 yards in now, I've got my gap wedge, and again, you'll see yourself, this is just... I think my confidence is drained at this point, and you'll probably see in the swing. Just come out of it, open face, short, left to right, and I'm thinking, oh God, I've had four, I need to chip in, so... I've got a chip in for a point. I've got my pitching wedge this time. And it's fine. I actually made that putt for a six, but it was for no points. So we move on to our par five now. It's 520 yards. Stroke four, so I've got a shot. Now, I normally like this all pretty easy. I find it easy to par. But not when you've gone. Same again. I've gone out to in swing, pulled it left, and I've gone out of bounds left. I, I don't even think I've ever been out of bounds left on this hole but it's where the golf is at the moment and you know that's what this video is going to be good about showing the good and the bad so again three off the tee this time opposite sliced it right into the trees right so i'm in the woods 
this is my fourth shot. I'm just trying to get it on the green, really. A six and trying to have a putt for a seven. So not bad. Fourth shot, four iron. Got it out there. Done what I wanted, really. Try and give me a fifth shot in. So here's my fifth shot. Five iron, one eight five. Terrible collapse swing. Short. And now I'm leaving myself an up and down just for a double bogey and get myself one point. Which, to be fair, I've got my 52 here now. Now I'm trying to get it fizzed in there and let it release at last minute and I've made a good job of this good job this is still going in my game so I've got that for a 7 for a 1 which is a double bogey and uh, pulled it or misread it really but anyway that's an 8 yes an 8 a blob and now I'm thinking to myself the trolls are going to get me what are people going to say this is not a great round and to be fair even Joel looked at me and went great this isn't it Liam so I thought I'll try and put a good swing on so we're a par 3 it's 131 yard, but the pin's at back, so it's playing 136. So I've got an R9, and I'm just thinking to myself, just hit it. I don't care anymore, just hit it. And maybe that's the thought you need to have. Got a little punchy one. Just short the pin, checked up. Great shot, even. At that point, Joel waved his hands for say, why didn't you do that earlier on? So I've got a left to right put here. Little five footer for birdie. And I just pulled it. I've just absolutely pulled it. Lifted my head and pulled it. So it's a par and two points. Now, 18th fall. I'm going to be honest here. I've got my forward. It's 2 6 3. I can hit forward, four iron here all day long. And this is going to get the laughs, this. And I mean, you, what you're going to see here, well, watch this. You're going to enjoy it. That is out of bounds on the second green. And that is summer, well, Considering I'm putting videos out, that is a disgrace. It really is, but it could it could have been quite easy just to delete this video, but it's going to give me encouragement to come back and prove a few people wrong because I've got a feeling I'm going to get trolled here. So I'm free off the tee. Again, shocking shot. Got away with it. It's gone down the fairway. Just rolled off in the semi. And I'm thinking to myself, right, Liam, come on, come on, come on. Get it on the green and get a putt. So I got wedge, 80 yards. Left at pin, it should kick right. And I'm thinking to myself, hello, let's get a five for one here. I've not made a putt all day, but no. No legs. So six in, double bogey, and well, what can I say? So, did I shoot 36 points? No, 27. I did a gross for you, 86, 16 over. Uh, you can see where my golf game is, it's in the bin, and this video's still going out. I've got a feeling I'm going to get trolled, I'm going to get abused, saying you're rubbish, oh, you've got seven and all that. But it's real golf, and I always pro you know, promote it on the channel. This is real golf. When you're playing bad, you've, you've got to keep playing. You've just got to enjoy it. You've seen times today, I did get my head down, but I think I was more thinking about what the comments are going to be against me. But hey ho, 86 gross. Not good. Not good at all. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Smash the comments, give me some abuse if you want, or give me a like. And uh, would you like to see this again? Because we are going to do part and. I am going to do it again and uh, play it to my handicap. I am.